when shooting in lower light conditions, the temptation is usually there to just, you know, let's grab the gain switch and crank in some gain and that way we'll brighten the image up. And it will, but the downside to that is that when you add gain, it also adds grain. The more gain you put in the image, the grainier the image gets. That's not always really what you want. So the DVX200 actually has an alternative way to brighten the image up. Go into the system mode menu and look for the high sensitivity mode. Now there are two choices here, normal and high sense. When it's set on high, it does actually double the sensitivity of the camera. So instead of being a base of 500 ISO, it's actually 1000 ISO. But simultaneously, it uses additional noise reduction to eliminate the added grain that would otherwise have shown up. So you get effectively the brightness of being at plus six dB, but the grain structure of being at zero dB, which is great and very useful when you're using the camera in low light conditions. Now, there's not entirely a free lunch. There will be some slight side effects you're gonna to wanna to watch out for. For example, your image may get a little softer. Maybe sharp, fine detail might be just a little smoother because of the additional noise reduction. Or maybe the colors will be a little bit more muted. So you're gonna to wanna to evaluate this for your own purposes in your own shooting scenarios to make sure that it's the right choice for you. But if it is, it's a great way to get even brighter images with no additional grain. Now, while this function can be a lifesaver indoors in low light conditions, you don't wanna just leave the camera always in high sense mode because sometimes you're shooting outdoors in bright daylight and you definitely do not need additional sensitivity in bright daylight. I mean, the camera's already sensitive enough at 500 ISO. It certainly don't need to be shooting around in 1000 ISO in broad daylight. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to have this thing turned off when you're shooting in daylight, but it can be a significant help when shooting in low light scenarios. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series for even more tips and tricks on how to get the best from your DVX200. Panasonic.